Hi and welcome back to Your Faith Adventures with King David. This week we get to see how a Rudiger deals with not always winning at games. We get to meet one of his new friends and we get to just see how they interact and how they try to honor God with their relationship. We continue reading in our verses in 1 Samuel 25 and we see Abigail, how she brings a gift to David and how she reminds him once again that God's way is not to get back at others, but God's way is to love others and care for them. Uh, we're also going to be having a craft today. Make sure that if you don't have a bag for crafts, that you come up to the church and we'll make sure you get one. So see you afterwards. Ready. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Paper. Paper. Tie. Oh, man. Ready? Rock, Go. paper. Scissors. Shoot. Scissors. Paper. <laughs> you always beat me, Abby. Yes, I do. I don't like it. Tough luck. I'll get you for it. What do you mean you're going to get me for it? Well, kind of like I was going to get Rue last week. <sighs> Rediger, you know that vengeance isn't ours. That's not right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey Rutherger. Good to see you. Hi. Hey, nice Hi, guys. You. you have a new friend? Yeah. Hi, my name's Abby. Well, hi, Abby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You sound like you'd be a really good friend, Abby. That's great. It's nice to have you here. You know what, Rutherger? We've been talking about King David. Remember? Abby, he's a guy from the Bible. Ooh. And King David had a friend named Abigail. Oh, that's really close to your really name. Really close to your name. Did his friend, did, did his friend always win at rock, paper, scissors, too? Did his friend? I don't. Do you think they played rock, paper, scissors? I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't think so. They might have played rock, sand, <laughs> leaf, <laughs> or wombat. Could be, could be, could be. I don't, I don't think they had paper and scissors, but they might have played something similar. They had friends, though, and Abigail was a good friend to Rudiger. Would you like to hear how that happened? I would love to yeah. hear this story. Well, you remember that King David was really mad at this guy named Nabal because... David had been so nice to Nabal. And then David asked one little favor of Nabal, and Nabal said, no, I'm not sharing any of my stuff with you. So David got really mad. You know about getting mad about things, Rudiger? Vengeance! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, David got really mad at Nabal. And so he said, I'm just going to get rid of David, and David said, I'm just going to get rid of Nabal, and they were just both fighting, and everybody was mad at everybody. And then Nabal's wife, named Abigail, came along, and she was very smart. And she said, oh, my husband can be such a grouch. He is always being mean to people. She said, I have to go and talk to David. So she went down the road and she brought with her some treats for David and for David's soldiers. Were there like Skittles? Treats? Oh, were there Skittles? Skittles. <laughs> no, but there were figs and there was fruit and meat and bread and mm. wine. And she loaded up with all these things and she headed down the road to see David. And when David saw her, he said, oh, your husband, I'm so mad at your husband, there's not gonna be a single one of those soldiers left alive by the end of the day. Vengeance. He <laughs> you got it. David was wanting vengeance for He was sure. really, really mad. He was. And Abigail said, oh, David, I know. I know my husband was mean to you. He shouldn't have done that. But you know, David, it's not your job to get back at people. We talked about that last week. Miss Emma told Rediger all about that. Well, he, that's what Abigail said, too. She said, 
It's not our job. We, if somebody needs to be shown a lesson or somebody needs to be set on the right road, we're going to leave that up to God to do that Very because simple. we know that God loves us all because we all mess up mm -hmm. and we all need to be forgiven. And that's what God did. He sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us so that all our sins have been forgiven because of what Jesus did. He died, then he rose again, and so we know that his sacrifice was accepted. And we know that God loves all of us. It's not our job to get back at people. It's our job to tell people that Jesus loves them and died for them. And we know that the Lord is so merciful to us mm -hmm. and he loves us so much. And even though he should get angry with us because we really mess up, he doesn't get angry with us because he loved us. So maybe Abigail, Abby <laughs> can help you learn that lesson just like Nabal's wife, Abigail, helped David learn the lesson to be forgiving and to tell others that Jesus loves them instead of trying to get back at them and punish them. It's nice to have good friends that will do that. It is, it is. That can be a very valuable friend. And you know, David could have gotten in big trouble for killing all those soldiers. David could have been killed. But his friend, Abigail, steered him in the right direction. Well, maybe I don't have to win every time. <laughs> and you, you know, that's, it, a, that's a start, start for sure. You and you know, Rudiger, good every time you, you do and win Abigail, thank you for being such a good Abby. Oh. <laughs> that's easy to do. <laughs> well, Abby. You are, will be a good friend to Rudiger, and we thank you for steering him in the right direction, too. So nice. Very nice to meet you, Abby, and I hope we get to see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Rudiger. You know, Rudiger, every time you want to get vengeance on me when I win rock, paper, scissors, I'll just remind you that Jesus loves you. Thanks, Abby. We are the Stoke family. This is Bella, Gita, Clayton, and Rebecca. <laughs> and we are going to do our craft today for um, when Abigail brought her gift to David. And you're going to need, from your um, supply kit, you're going to need your paper sack, your bag of construction paper, um, you'll need scissors from home and markers from home. So let's get started. We're gonna first start, and in your bag, let's pull out the largest piece of brown paper, and you're gonna cut a big oval, and that's gonna be your bread. And then we're gonna write on that 200 loaves of bread. You can write 200 loaves of bread. Okay, then we're gonna get our purple paper, and we're gonna cut a bottle that's going to be our wine or our grape juice. Okay, very good. And on that, we're going to write grape juice. Okay. Next, we are going to get out our white pieces of paper and our little sheep pattern. And we're going to cut out five sheep. Okay. So let's trace that on there. And we can maybe even... Um, can, I, can I trace the sheep? You can trace the sheep. We can. You can cut. <laughs> okay, 
If you're a good artist or you want to try your artist skills, you can certainly draw your own sheet. Clayton, will you cut those out? Just cut them out in one stack, okay? And after we cut those out, we're going to label them with sheep. And you can draw eyes on your sheep. Okay, while he's cutting that, we're going while he's cutting that, we're going to get out our yellow paper and we're going to cut out small um, kernels of corn. So you can either do small circles or small squares. And then while he's doing that, then let's cut out some small circles for raisins. And then Peter, you can do, will you draw, cut two big circles that are going to be our figs. So figs are bigger than raisins and corn. You can draw it first and then cut. And then we'll put all of the corn and raisins in here. And the figs. Can I label the sheep? Yeah, you, yeah, you can label the sheep. You can get creative like Rebecca's doing. She's folding her paper to make cutting raisins go quicker. <laughs> Okay, and then while Peter finishes cutting out the figs, we're going to label our sacks. So get your paper sack out, and we're going to write on there what Abigail brought to David as a gift. And then we're going to write 1 Samuel 25 to remind us where we can find that story in the Bible. Okay, and we will then put... Yeah, here we go. We're going to put all of our items in here to, again, to remind us what Abigail bought. Okay, that's it. We can have just one fig, that's okay. Okay. For fig, corn, raisins, bread, sheep. Wine or grape juice. Wine. Okay, we can put our other sheep in here. And then we will just fold our sack over and now we've got our, our reminder. <laughs> and if you pull out your card with the Shaking hands on it for your for Abigail meets David. The memory verse, Romans 12, 19, <laughs> Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Thank y'all for crafting with us today. Bye. Bye. Wasn't that so much fun as we got to see great crafts? We got to meet one of Rudiger's good friends. We got to have fun just learning about how God wants us to deal with our friends, even when we don't win games. So thanks once again for being a part of Living Word Lutheran Church's Sunday School, and I'll see you next week.